call them the UTSA ranked runners. 24th in the AP poll, 25th in the USA Today coaches poll. The 11th year program secures its first national football ranking in school history. Everybody in the country is talking about us, which helps with boosters. It helps administration. It helps your fan base. It helps recruiting. It just helps in the bigger scheme. Uh, I mean, I want this to be, we want this thing to be something that lasts forever, not a blip in the radar. Uh, historically, in our seasons here, we've been up and down program. We've had our moments and we've gone away. We've had our moments and we've gone away. Well, we're having a moment right now, Hector. I don't want to go away. And it takes funding. And, and people are going to believe in this more when you give them success. And the more funding you have, the better chance you have of making this thing last. Because your kids have better stuff. You have more personnel. Uh, there's a reason those guys win every single year at those levels. They've got it deep in the recruiting department, strength staff, their nutritional meals. Uh, it just, it's, it's made to last. And we're a new and national rankings help because more people want to be a part of it. They, everybody loves to win, right? When you win, there's enough for everyone, Hector. When you lose, there's never enough for anyone. Coach, I remember when um, when when you first came on, sitting down with you, and, and we talked expectations, and you said, look, I'm not going to go down the number of wins and things along those lines. Had somebody said to you back then, a little more than halfway through your second year, your program's going to be nationally ranked in both polls. What would your reaction have been? <laughs> your dreams should always be so large that your prayer life has to match it. So when your dreams come true, God can get the credit, not a human. The runners are next at Traditionally Tough, 2-4 Louisiana Tech, 6 o'clock on Saturday.